I'm gonna take a grade in mana as I said so we go to crypto we search for mana and this coin actually has a lot of utility in the metaverse which is the next big thing which is coming up and i would definitely make more videos on metaverse and how i have been studying metaverse but for now i'm gonna buy this coin and so you can either type how many manas you want one mana is currently okay let's talk in usd terms if you got never mind i'll just buy in my currency it'll make more sense to me but first let me check the charts okay and also before that let me check one more thing cryptobubbles.net what's mm -hmm. so this is where you can see how the cryptos have been performing in the last one day or you know 48 hours or 72 hours so let me just check the last one week i know this week has been really bearish uh the greed there is one more thing which you guys should know about and it's called greed and fear index and let's go to greed and fear index of crypto so you can see what the greed and fear index says it is extreme fear right now so basically you might have heard of this famous charlie munger or warren buffett quote when they say that uh, buy when people are fearful and sell when everyone is greedy similarly right now and we just hear about these quotes we never act upon it this is the time to act why is everyone fearful because markets are fucking falling right now and if i being a smart investor or someone who's trying to be a smart investor if i begin to be scared of falling markets and when the fear is so high you can see it for yourself extreme fear the market is in extreme fear so what do these rich people what do these smart investors say they tell you to buy when there is extreme fear in the market so why are you not doing it and that doesn't mean that you should just go and buy anything of course you should do your research which i have done and i'll explain to you what i've done so yeah that is the reason why i'm buying mana the market is in extreme fear i'm seeing a very good trade setup in mana on these charts which i have studied and also uh, basically mana is a very important utility coin uh, it's not like a shit coin which just people are pumping and dumping it's not one of those crypto coins and it is here for the long term i believe so these are the reasons i'm buying and yeah i'm uh, trading this i'm not gonna invest in this for long term so let's go here and how many manas can i get for I added 1000 but I'm not going to use all of them. I'm going to use 750. And it seems very complicated right now so let's remove everything. Perfect. Let's close the volumes. Let's close this. Let's close this. And let's simplify everything for you. So basically look at the charts, look at uh, listen carefully to what I speak and you'll understand the reason why I bought mana right so let's start from the daily time frame about and let me remove this alert remove yes yes okay so what you're seeing in mana at a daily time frame is a very very good support level at this point so this is the place where the crypto always touches and goes back up now okay of course there is on a daily time frame we don't have a just just that on a daily time frame we don't have a green candle here right so basically it comes at this level and goes back comes back at this level tries to goes back comes back goes here now it has spent a lot of time here so there is a possibility that mana can actually break it down right and there is a very high probability given that the crypto markets are already falling but uh, as i said uh, extreme fear in the market right uh, people are gonna buy the dip now and there is really good news surrounding mana and there is utility in the coin and on a smaller time frame this setup which i'm showing you the possibility of mana falling on a smaller time frame uh, we have a short term trade which we can take and based on that i have uh, purchased mana right so remove this and let's go back to the support level which we are seeing right now at in mana okay this is the support level and let me okay smooth in this right so this is the support level and the crypto is trading at 
exactly that point now let's go in a four hour time frame let's see what happens at a four hour time frame the same level which we had created you can see from there man actually tried to jump up once but has come down exactly there and is taking support again now let's go historically uh, in the past and see so around the same level right let's go even further you can see again the same level the price touches here freaking runs back up right and earlier if i just extend this to this uh earlier this was it was never a resistance anyways so this is the first logic there is a support level and the coin is trading at the support level so of course we should look to buy but at the same time if you want to be yeah horizontal line no not horizontal line i need the horizontal rate right and if you see this level this is where mana always comes up to whenever it touches the support right recently so this is where mana cannot go higher than this level and mana cannot go lower than this level so we have a range and the range is 20 percent and 20 percent is actually huge in crypto it is not to be honest but uh if you're trying to do a short-term trade uh, 20 percent is kind of huge given that the market is already so volatile for our time uh, time frame analysis is done what we saw is this is the resistance level in a four hour time frame in the daily time frame we saw this is the support level and when we came to four hour we saw that this is the support level and coin has already taken just a sec yeah so if you see this one you can see that the support has already taken basically uh, once again support was taken green candle was done so that basically means what that now mana is going to go up but mana is going to go up until what point that's the question i have already bought the currency so until when shall i hold it or what's the next resistance where it's going to take a resistance and yeah that is the reason why i bought mana because of this shit now okay you can also see a resistance here by the way right so this is the whole shit resistance yahan pe yahan pe yahan pe yahan pe broke it came down resistance resist. so it's a very strong resistance now let's go on a one hour time frame and let's see what mana is doing so basically on a one hour time frame it's currently in a if you see the charts properly this is what mana is doing and the ideal entry would have been when mana would have broken this trend line if you want to be if you're a safe trader so you can see that mana has fucking hell just a sec yeah so basically there are two types of traders one just like me who has bought now because of seeing that mana has taken good support and the second trader the second entry activates when this trend line which you are seeing on the screen right this one this trend line this trend line this trend line so the second entry activates when this trend line is broken Right? So there are two entries which can happen. The one which I have taken and the second one which is after the trend line breaks. Right, And also some traders would do it. They'll take half a position here or let's say 50% or uh, 60% here. And then if this gives confirmation, they'll add the rest 40% or whatever the ratio is. Maybe they'll take 30% position here, buy. And then once it breaks and gives them the confirmation, they'll add the rest 70%. So that's how trading is done. It's always a game of probabilities. And you know, you're thinking whether you're going to succeed or not. And this is what trading is. Now, let's just go back and let me keep the trend line intact because to be frank i did not see that trend line before lol so i'm actually a safe trader so if i would have seen that i wouldn't have bought now i would have waited but that doesn't invalidate my entry because my entry is also a genuine one then we got to think about the targets once you have bought the coin or once you have bought any security for trading you have to think when you're going to sell it as well right what are the, what are your targets so my first target would be mm -hmm, sorry 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 yeah so my first target would be this level because you see there is some sort of resistance over here so that would be my first target 
and of course my second target would be the one which we already discussed right so what is the target if i have bought at this point let me just put the long position yeah i have bought at this point i believe so until here i'm gonna sell here so that's like right guys i just wanted to show you this thing i'm currently in my college library but the mana trade which i took um, and the trend line which we made here it is actually respecting the trend line and we are currently having a hard time breaking this zone because there's a good trend line and it's being respected so once this trend line breaks i'm pretty sure that our trade would perform even better so yeah a quick update and also about the smaller time frame okay so if you see it did break here but we went back down so we need a good bullish closing above this time above this trend line and i do feel like within the next half an hour it will be clear whether we are going to break this trend line or we are going to go back down so yeah let's see a quick update right so a quick update we have broken the trend line uh, let me clear all of this yeah so on the one hour time frame which trend line we established which was actually being respected is i mean it's not completely broken the candle has not finished at now uh, but to me it feels like uh, we are going to breach the trend line and go towards our first target here and if you go on a smaller time frame this is what you see right the price is closed above the trend line and the volume is pretty high as well so the buyers are going to step in now and yeah uh, the high wick rejection which was faced just previously has now been broken and if we also go on crypto bubbles let's see what the market is doing overall real quick before i stop this update because i don't want to make this video too long daily awesome so the market is up everything is up so we can expect the same for mana too all right then this was a short update about mana what it's doing currently and i'll also show you my position but not now probably once i exit the trade and everything then i'm also going to show you my position i mean my pnl all right i'm gonna head out now back to studies because i'm still in the library I had a class going on but I literally saw that my mana position which I shared with you guys I mean which I will be sharing with you guys which I have been recording all the parts of it is very close to its target so I thought I'll just leave the class come here and show you the update and then go back to my class right so this is where we are this was the trend line uh yeah one hour time frame this was the trend line and this is where we broke the trend line with this one right and then this was our target and you see what's happening we are so close to our target and that's how this was a very successful technical analysis now also the thing is am i going to sell here no i'm not i'm going to see how the price reacts if we are having a rejection let's say if we have a candle that goes up but then it makes a wick over here and then comes back down so basically we'll have a candle like like this right so if we have a candle like this that's when i will think of selling it but if we have a candle which breaks it and closes this way very sorry if we have a candle which closes like this and then another candle which goes like this there are two candles this is the time when i'm not gonna sell it right so the market seems very bullish right now so uh, i don't think it's time for me to sell and i haven't checked my profit and loss i mean pnl statement since i started the position because the process matters that's what i've been learning from my mentors that the money doesn't matter but the process matters a lot so but now i'm gonna check it because i'm happy that the okay nice we spent around 730 or 750 and we are at 835 right now i don't know if you guys can see it so that's just 60 polish zlotys in profit in two days i believe so not bad so if you guys can see it it's cool if you cannot i'll probably paste a screenshot later on so yeah we have successfully hit our target 
oops sorry we have successfully hit our target and let me remove this shit and that was the update and i'll update you whether i'm going to close this position or not bye bye 80 and okay we are at 845 i don't know if you guys can see it so that's the i don't know if you guys can even see it but i'll probably put a screenshot but i keep these videos very raw i don't add a lot of edits so i don't know if i can but yeah we are at 845 it's a nine percent move not seven percent sorry it's nine percent right awesome now the question is whether i'm going to sell it or not because this was my first target and i will not sell it the reason is because one more thing which i've learned from my mentors is to hold your winning trades and not to be greedy of course i'm not being greedy that i need more money i'm gonna sell it if i can see some rejection over here but currently i'm just seeing a very bullish momentum so there's no point in selling for example if i see a candle which has a long wick like this and a body which is like this so this is the time when i would probably think of selling right after seeing the overall market the overall market is also bullish right now uh, so yeah there is no point in selling straight away because always keep your upside open but keep your downside you know restricted so look like right in front of your eyes look what's happening it's even pumping further right uh, just a sec just a sec what the hell yeah so yeah this is what's happening right now it's even pump it's pumping even further let's go on a 15 minute time frame and you can see the momentum with which it has broken the resistance right so i'll update you what happens next and i have made this in a very pieces of videos so i got edit it as well the momentum is really cool and i'm loving this i'm happy to see this but i just hope this continues and our second target i'll decide it later on all right peace out everyone Right guys, it's time to sell the positions because uh, we hit the target and we didn't break it but we are not able to sustain. So it's time now that we exit the position. And that's pretty much it. So I'm actually in a restaurant right now, so it's kind of very awkward to film it. But just to give an update of what the position is doing, I'm gonna sell it because uh, the trend line broke as you guys know, the target was hit as you guys know, and then we broke the target and we were planning to go up. We were holding the trade, but then now it is showing us that this might be a fake breakout, it might not sustain because two one hour candles have been formed. So, yeah, we got a book in our profits now. That's pretty much it, and I hope you guys learned some stuff about trading and how a trader thinks and how a student like me. Uh, someone who is a basic a beginner is trading in the markets and I'm not a professional right now but it is my aim to be a professional trader so yeah thank you so much